The Duke of Wellington, the Iron Duke, one of our greatest Britons, well, he was a tiny bit of a fake. He was born Arthur Wesley, but changed it to Arthur Wellesley when he was nearly 30 because he thought it sounded much better and much more elite. So Wellington was born in 1769. He was born in Dublin. His mother didn't have much money. She sent him to Eton in an attempt to raise him, but unfortunately she didn't have the money to keep him there. He certainly did not say that the Battle of Waterloo was won on the playing fields of Eton because number one, he hated Eton, and number two, it didn't have any playing fields at the time. So that's all wrong. Um, he was seen as awkward, he was seen as ugly, he was seen as stupid, and the only thing he was really any good at was playing the violin. He was a very keen music maker, a very keen violinist. Poor Arthur did not have very much going for him, but the army proved the making of him. He gained his commission in 1787 and did rather well, and he became the aide-de-camp of the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. He was hell-bent on success. And what happened was he went to India, extending the empire, served in India for a long time, returned and served in Europe, and became incredibly successful in the army. After his marriage, Arthur went on to great success, particularly in the Peninsula War, which was the war in Spain against Napoleon. He had everything he could possibly imagine. The greatness, the trust of everyone. Everyone thought, you're the only man who could stop Napoleon. And therefore, when our crazy old Napoleon decides to go to Paris, to conquer, to win, to beat the armies of Britain and Prussia, it is a good thing that the Duke of Wellington is at the helm of the armies, because he is the one, the Iron Duke, the great man, who's going to defeat Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo, which is exactly where we see Bargravia begin. Wellington didn't die in battle like Nelson. Instead, he lived to a ripe old age of 84 and became Queen Victoria's Prime Minister. He was the Iron Duke until the end.